G'day gang, game Lego Dan here. How you going? We're back in the World of Warcraft. And uh I in World of Warcraft Classic, sorry. <laughs> and we're trying to kill this mob. Now it took a tiny little break. And it looks like it's thinned out somewhat, so hopefully we've got a good chance of getting this mob. Uh while we're waiting. There's g'day g'day. G'day g'day. Yeah, oh, while we're waiting. Maybe got a slight chance of killing something. Actually, you know what I need is I need like an instant. An instant spell. That'd be great. Let's see if we can invite this person as well. There we go. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to ever switch it so it's uh, we, can, we can tag as a group. Sorry, without having to be in a party. Probably not, though, I guess they, we want that classic experience, right? And we're getting it. So maybe it's just a matter of waiting a little bit. Give it a little bit of time. Let people pass through, because you can see, like, this is a literally uh, about an hour. Literally an hour. Yeah. Later. And it's, it's thinned out quite a bit, so people have moved on. I'd imagine there's a lot of people that just wanted to rush through and get, uh, get further along. It's funny, I keep going to press shift space, which is my, uh, the button I, pre <laughs> I press to mount up. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. No heirloom mount, man. Got no boots on. My feet killing me. Not really, I'm an orc. I'm used to it, right? So in terms of professions, I'm not really sure which way to go. Sure which way to go. Maybe enchanting? Enchanting might be good. I have to have a look. A little look-see. Alright, I think we'll get out of this area, even though there's only a, a few people. I guess with that, the mob spawn rate gets a little bit lower as well. I need to find a nice little area where I can... Just sit there and smack some scorps around. Got one worker to... I guess we can go back and hand this quest in so he'll be happy. Let's go have a chat to this guy. You can rest in peace. Ah, oh, my father always said I would never amount to much. And here, lying beneath a tree as life seeps away. I'm afraid it looks like he was right. At least I wish to die knowing that my last enemy in life lays dead. My blow was not enough to kill him, but looking at the damage I inflicted gives me some small measure of pride. That small measure will be all I have to sustain myself if I die. And in that light, the short list of my life's accomplishments fills me with anger. Seeing the deed that you, you have done for me, steals my heart. I cannot fall so easily, I must endure. But it uh, remains that I cannot make the trek back to the den unassisted. Please, Razok, return to the den and tell Gornek of my situation. Perhaps he can help me. I hope so. Oh, is he? Oh, he's up on the knee. Go swiftly, Razok. My fate is in your hands. Alright. Oh. Maybe. Oh, he's back down. Okay. I thought he made it. But then he fell. Well, we got two reasons to go back, I guess. We go and tell him about what has just transpired and also... Uh, we got to get some cactus. Cactus apple, back to that guy, and he's gonna he's gonna bake us a pie or something. That's that's good, right? Oh, here we go. We got some boots. Beautiful. Some leather boots. Nice. Get that off my bar. Almost level three as well. All right, I've returned, Galgar. Have you finished collecting cactus apples? I have. 
Wonderful, Rizok. As promised, here is your cactus apple surprise. Plus a little something extra. Higher. <laughs> for the horde. Ah, uh, for the horde. And thank you very much for the level. Hmm. What can I do for you? Uh, I'll just sell you some of this. Some of this business. Oh, actually, you know what? I should keep that apple. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have sold it straight away. The guy took. Ah. Oh, all that time to bake it. And sorry, not even bake it. It's an apple, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did something to it. Anyway. Blood and thunder. Correct. The carabase of a scorpion isn't so thick that the strength of a determined warrior will be deterred. Strike strongly and without doubt. And the scorpions should prove easy prey. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know that. Sorry. Go forth That's not the one I was... <laughs> I'm confused there. From your description of the beast, I believe you must be speaking of Sarkoth. It is no wonder that Hanra was overtaken by it. It will be dispatched to him immediately. Trouble yourself no more with Hanra's light. However, I must say, I am most impressed to hear that you brought Sarkoth to death. It is a feat to be proud of, Rezok, and that you would fight for a stranger's honor, while others, other tasks occupied your time. Your own honor is heightened. Spring. Thanks, Gornick. Well, you make me feel happy. Now, do we get any skills to what learn? Can I do for you? Uh, the next one's at level 4 and 6, so we get Earth Shock. Instantly shocks the target. That's what we need, actually. That would be of great help in being able to tag mobs. Alright, so we might make our way up north. Uh, to this area, and that way we can get some of these vile familiars. And in the same area, there's scorpids as well, sort of off around here, so it's not too far away. So hopefully between the two, we get <laughs> there's a naked orc. Uh, we can get uh, some of these mobs done. Done dead. Done did it. Are you gonna play? Are you gonna play World of Warcraft Classic? Are you going to give it a crack? If so, what what uh, what race and class are you going to choose? I'm still sort of up in the air about the alliance side. I might try. I don't know if I want to go with a night elf warrior, or druid, or a human paladin. I'm sort of tossing those in the air. See, the whole reason behind a night elf warrior is that is my first character ever created. So I thought maybe I should go back and experience that again. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And let me know what you're choosing. What are you picking? Let's see if uh, this person would like to group up. Oh, there we go. Oh, because I got into a group just at the right... <laughs> Just the last second. Let's get him out. Let's get him out. I'm gonna get that tail. Your tail is mine. There we go, that's two tails. Alright, well he's over there. He's got that covered. I'll see if... I thought I saw one just over that ridge. Yes, I did. Oops. Oh, hey, hey. No need to heal yet. And I'll get this guy over here. If I can reach him. The good thing is I got range. The, the downside is the cast time. I oh, see. How'd you get how'd you get that quicker than me? Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. So an instant definitely works. I mean, a hunter, no problem. Tagging mobs out here. Well, there was a nice little area there for, uh, well, we've got a friend here, uh, for scorpions. So I might be able to just sit here and then turn around every once in a while. Here 
we go. So for those of you that aren't familiar with me, I do actually play quite a few MMORPGs here on the channel. Uh, but that's not my only games. I like all sorts of games, really. But I do like to explore, and that tends to be well, it's most accessible in all these free-to-play MMOs. Which I am definitely enjoying quite a few of them. So you'll see me create a series on them. I usually go up to about tip part, you know, 10, 5, 10, sometimes 20. And if I'm still digging it, I'll continue. Other times I might take a break, come back to it at a later date. I like to read the quest text, all the dialogue. But yeah, my big thing's exploration. I love to see things. I love to see lots of things. Worlds. I love the worlds that these developers create. And, uh, you know, RPGs, MMO RPGs, they, they tend to have nice, large, full worlds. And I like to see them. I like to explore them. It's what I do. Now, we have played a lot of World of Warcraft as well, so played World of Warcraft uh, as it is currently from the 1 to 60 sort of zones we started a Battle for Azeroth series on the Alliance side and I'm also playing also play a little bit of Battle for Azeroth on the Horde side we did a whole bunch of starter zone series as well recently an undead rogue But yeah, there's been Pandera, and there's been all sorts. All the races I've been trying to check out the starter zone. We've still got quite a few to go, though. And <laughs> now with Classic. I don't know if I'll do a Classic version of that, but... I mean, this series I'm, I'm intending to take it as far as possible. I always knew going in that this start area is going to be a little bit rough. Particularly starting so early. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look. It's been about an hour or two, and it's starting to, it's starting to thin out a bit, so it's not too shabby. As I said in the first episode, I, I do, I am kind of curious as to how it is on the American side. Alright, I might leave this guy. So I can actually get this, these mobs. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming for you. Yeah, but a lot of lot of things to be uh, to look up again, I guess, because yeah, like the talent tree and all that. Let's see this person? Oh, I don't. Don't know what they're doing. They're just going for a run. Yeah, the talent tree, for example, and how I'm gonna spec out in that. And do a little bit of healing. Well, this is a good spot, folks. I would suggest maybe trying this out. There's not too many people around, and they can't really see the mobs, too, so they don't know it's here. And you've also got the, the, the Vile Familiars just up there. Of course, every once in a while, there's probably going to be somebody running past, tagging me mob taken off well if we would just spawn a little bit quicker we we're doing well there for a second all right let me have a look through my talent see if there's anything i've missed here so i've got blood fury ah right oh gotta get that there might have to uh fix all my hot keys damage dealt by hunter and warlock pets increased by five percent what okay Block passive, yep. That's all my passives. Rock biter, healing wave. Okay, I've got everything else. Alright, so I just didn't have that one there. Now, I don't necessarily need this on my bar because that's just reinitiating the auto attack. So I can use that for something else. Don't know if I really want that there. Alright, well, just as I said, this is a good spot. We have nothing spawning. 
So maybe we'll move on over here. No doubt, as soon as I move away from it, four of them will spawn there. Just, <laughs> just keep checking over that ridge. A lot of them over there, but there's a lot of people there. I'm going to run back to that area now. Bet there's one there. I bet there's one waiting for us. There you are. What happened, Scorpion? You, you were spawning so quick before. So quickly. It's all slowed down. Give me the tail. Give me that tail. What about over here? Are we back? We're back. Oh. The naked orc. The native naked orcs. Got his eye on this worker. Okay, six of ten. Pick up the pace. I mean, every single one should have a tail that I could take off, right? I'm not just zapping them, I'm not destroying the tail. Tail's intact. Oh. You cheeky. You cheeky scorpion worker. I wonder how many people... I wonder if it's possible... To... I wonder how long it takes to actually level up to 60. But I don't think anyone's going to be able to do it in the first day. I don't think that's a thing. There's no way. I remember at the time, playing just before Burning Crusade came out, uh, it took me, I felt like months. Having said that, I started at the end of 2006, I think it was. Whatever the year was before uh, Burning Crusade came out. And uh, I think I was about, I think I was ready to go once Burning Crusade came out. But it, it felt like a long time to get there. And I was playing a lot. Inventory's full. Oh, well, as long as I can get... Oh, actually, can I get a shield? Can I? Oh, look at that. Oh, I got myself a shield. Didn't actually know. Oh, we should actually equip all this stuff, shouldn't we? Uh, we got some level 5 boots. I don't really want to s s just drop anything. I'd like to sell them. Make that cash. While well, we've got, like, bugger all. Cash would be good. Alright, we're 8 eight or 10. 8 or 10, we're getting there. Oh, I didn't... Did I not loot? Oh, that's right. Oh, full. Inventory was full. Let's get that evil eye. Come on, Scorpids. Where are you? Where are you? I got you targeted. There it is. <laughs> Alright, final, final tail. Final tail, come on. This is an accurate representation of what World of Warcraft classic gameplay is. <laughs> Make no mistake. So if you're wondering and you're like, oh man, I can't wait to get in there and just start smashing things. Well, this is what it's like. 
It's a slow, slow burn. You've got to work your way up from nothing. It's not like how it is now where you just go in there and smash a couple things and group up and go into a dungeon. Bang, bang, you're level, level 60, you're ready to go. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. All right, we can use this. Take me all the way back. It's going to be a one hour cooldown, but that's okay. Oh, unless you get interrupted. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Yeah, there's an intro. There is an intro to World of Warcraft. Uh, that is nice. It's nice to watch. It's intense and everything like that. And you get pumped up. You see, and you're like, can't wait to do any of that. Well, you ain't going to be doing that for a while. So I decided not to show it. <laughs> and just went with the orc intro instead. I think it's a little bit more. Correct there in setting the tone. A uh, primitive club and a walking stick. Now, I wonder if I can even... Oh, I'll probably just go with this for now, seeing as I've got a shield on me. You have done well, Rosok. Although the Val Familiars were merely pets of the darker powers within the Burning Blade, your success against them foretells greater deeds ahead. Through my divinations, I see that an item of power hides deep within the Burning Blade Coven. Guarded by beasts and black magic, it is called the Burning Blade Medallion, and your next task is to find it and remove it from the coven. But be wary, for the medallion may be possessed by an agent of the Burning Blade, and if so, then the agent's power would be greater than the familiars you have already encountered. Go, Rezok. You'll find the coven in a cave to the north and west. Go forth to victory. Uh, which is the cave that was just uh, that we were just outside of, fighting all those uh, familiars. Let's go hand this quest in first. Zug zug. Zug zug. The carapace of a scorpion. We've already read this. Yes, you've already read this twice. There is an important lesson that you must take away from fighting scorpions. The smallest or largest of opponents can still send you to your doom. In fierce combat, any number of things can prove your downfall. I have no more to teach you, Rosok. You have done well, and I will watch your progress with interest. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, cool, we got a back piece. For the horde. For the herd. All right, we got uh, that there, which you can pop on. Beautiful. I wonder if we're going to... I wonder if we're going to ditch this, this kilt, and get some pants. What are you looking for? I'm looking to sell some stuff to you, because I hear that you're buying. 16, yes, sell, sell. Look, as the series goes on, I'll probably be looking to pop on a few mods here and there. Probably more quality of life mods, just like being able to sell junk really easily. Nothing too crazy. I don't know if I'm going to go with a quest helper. Kind of like playing it like this. At least for now. But we'll see how it goes. When I originally played, I don't think I had any mod mods at all. None. So yeah. I got, I got around. I got around. The time is now, young shaman. You've grown strong and your spirit endures like the earth. Following the shaman's path shows you have wisdom before even proving yourself. The element of earth will guide your destiny, becoming part of you if you are ready. But you must stand before the earth itself. If you are ready, then you will see things only shamans know of. Seek out the fell stalkers to the north and take out, take them. Take from them two of their hooves. Return to me, and we shall speak more of your future. Be seeing ya. Be seeing ya, man. Greetings. Earth shark. I got it. Go with honor. All right, so instantly shocks the target. Yep. It also interrupts spell casting and prevents any spell in that school from being cast for two. Hey, that's pretty damn cool. That's my interrupt. With a six second cooldown. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> six second cooldown sounds good to me. Alright, so we need to go... 
Sorry, I should have read that. Let's see if we want to go there or there first. Uh, so, Call of Earth. Seek out the Felstalkers to the north and take from them two of their hooves. Well, north is over there. I didn't see any Felstalkers over there. I'm definitely not going north now, but I'll just have a look around the corner here. See if there's anything hidden over there around... I didn't see any fell stalkers. Maybe inside the cave. I can't get the quest text by clicking on it. Now there was that other guy over there with an exclamation mark. I wonder what he had to say. So seek out the fell stalkers to the north and take from them two of their hooves. Alright, fine. Well, we'll go north. I didn't see any, but maybe Not I didn't even pay attention close enough. Curse Beyonce. They work hard gathering lumber from the trees of the valley, but they're always taking naps. I need someone to help keep the peons in line. You look like the right orc for the task. Here, you take this blackjack and you use it on the lazy peons you find sleeping on the job. A good smack will set them. Get them back to work. Return the blackjack when you're done. Lousy slacking peons. Be safe. Be safe. Yeah, something needs doing. I'm gonna whack you with a blackjack. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly you can do it. Oh, okay, I'll get back to work. Something need doing? I think I saw a fair few lazy peons everywhere, so... Let's see if we can find more of them. These two are partaking a little bit of PvP. So keep your eye out for fell stalkers, folks. They're around somewhere. And maybe that's it. Maybe it's just in the cave. Or it could have been. Maybe maybe it's over this area. See, the sky map is forgivable, because this is classic. But in current version of WoW, it still looks like that from memory. Be busy. Leave me alone. Let me let me just Okey -dokey. yeah, let me just give you some of that. Some inspiration. <laughs> what you want? Me not that kind of orc. What? Me not that kind of orc. Me busy. Leave me alone. Something need doing? What you want? What? Me busy. Leave Doesn't me need... alone. Oh. Remember in Warcraft? I'm pretty sure you keep clicking on him after a while. You go, stop poking me! I'm not sure if it was the P or maybe it was a different unit. No. <laughs> uh, me, me not that kind of orc. Alright, I see no fell stalker, so I think we're going to head into the cave. The cave, the caves of insanity. It's not that, I just made that up. The burning blade. Burning blade cave. And here are the fell stalkers, haha. -ha. 